We're here in the Innovation Center with Catherine, our science educator. What is your favorite piece here at the museum and why? Well, you might think it's this periodic table of elements behind me, but actually my favorite work is an artwork in the Heinemann Gallery, so let's go on a field trip. All right, let's go. Tell us what it's like to be the science educator here at the museum. Well, it's a lot of fun. I get to teach kids about the science of glass every day through these beautiful artworks like the one we're about to see. Here we are. This is my favorite artwork at the museum. It's by engineer, inventor, and artist Dominic Labino, who was instrumental in the success of the studio glass movement. This artwork was commissioned for the opening of the 35 Centuries of Glass Galleries in 1980. And I love that you can kind of see the shape of the building kind of reflected in these interesting shapes of the different colors of glass here in this artwork. So the name of this artwork is Ionic Structure of Glass. And right here in the center, you can really see the ionic structure of glass. We've got all these different atoms and chemical bonds that are holding the atoms together. So in the center here, we have silicon. The red big circles that are connected to the silicon is oxygen. And free floating are calcium and sodium. So sodium lowers the melting point of this silicon and oxygen network, and calcium stabilizes the whole thing by keeping everything together. There are so many other pieces here at the museum that incorporate both art and science, and I would love to tell you more, but I have to go educate some future scientists, so I'll catch you next time.